we we'll have to get a. reverse now. It's a weird shoe, R, right? R's oh. reverse. What's the B mode? Uh, braking. Oh, okay. And what it is is like you know if you're driving downhill or something like that. Um, it basically oh, right. the uh, the engine uh, brakes itself uh, okay. the, by the crank. It's pretty neat actually. Yeah. <laughs> Could I see you driving this? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. When I drive something small and nice like this, I remember the feelings when I'm driving the Radicos Honda. Are you gonna have to go? You're gonna have to put it in reverse because the, the driveway ends here. Uh -huh. Reverse, Let's reverse it and go that way. Yeah, you'll really feel the electric power steering in it. That's why it's so easy to turn, and it's, it's got it's such a it's got such a short wheelbase on well, it. You can you basically you drive this right thing anyway. Back that way, you're going to go around. I'm going wherever back you want to go. Back the way we just got out from. Okay. And do the go around there. There you go. Do you like the screen? It's cute. And everything is, it's simple uh, but cute. Yeah, very simple. Um, we looked at a high the CRZ. Which I liked a lot, but I think it was too high-tech and confusing for her. It is very confusing. <laughs> it's like I'm on a spaceship and I could not understand that. <laughs> you ever seen those Alienware computers? Oh, yeah. That's, what, that's what this deck... Oh, that's what this dash looks like. <laughs> yeah, it, it does have an Alienware look to it. You're right. Very futuristic. I think the first time I saw it, uh, the driver was getting it off the truck, and he was driving it like towards me. And the first thing I saw was the, the thing behind the steering wheel and like behind the radio. Oh, yeah. And I was like, it looks like a laptop is in there or something. I was like, yeah. that's pretty neat. It's pretty wild. <laughs> it's like it's got a lot of nice. Um, is this the standard that comes with? Uh, well, with IQ or is this an up upgrade? That one is considered the premium audio. Okay. They have another one that they that they can come yeah, with, so can but these are the ones so. that. They are coming with. Just leave it here. Yeah, I can park it. It's not a big deal. You can just pull it in one of these spaces up here. You want Does the, the, the premium audio add extra speakers? Um, no, that's another package. It's got it's got a rear speaker package to it, where it adds speakers in the rear. So you can see how easy this is to park. Yeah. Or move. Or you can put this thing anywhere. There's episodes online. They're up to number twelve or thirteen now, where they're showing people parking the IQs yeah. in the weird spots. Yeah. I think it'd be pretty easy to yeah. park and drive for sure. This car um, literally is like the size of a grizzly bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a grizzly bear. I, I know a guy who wrestled one and won some money. Really? Uh -huh. Wow, I don't think I'd ever wrestle a bear. I don't think I would, even if it was trained. Cause <laughs> I, with my kind of luck, I'd, I'd lose a limb. Right. <laughs> Controls are pretty simple. That's nice. Stability and traction control. USB and aux. So here you can use where you plug in mm. an iPod or something. This car has more airbags than any of our other cars. One of them is right behind me, believe it or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all the rest of the safety features you'd find in a Scion. Is he back there? He is. Yes, yeah. he is. How you doing? Yeah, he's having a great time back there, too. <laughs> back here he filming. He's so comfortable, he fell asleep on us. He's a Scion guru. <laughs> <laughs> Hehehe <laughs>